On your mark. Get set. Get set. Go. You lost your shoe. Tor, are you excited? Yeah. So excited. Why are you excited, bud? And one thing I do want to check, can you lift up the front end and turn it? <laughs> yeah! Because there is no reverse. I just want to make sure if you get in a situation, you got to turn it, you can. <laughs> I can too, watch! You and Alana could together, definitely. Yeah. Alright, dude, no, don't put it over so it rolls down the hill. That's good, just drop it right there, bud. Go stops, go stop. And you can see the colors on it. See? Which one Which is go? Yeah. Uh, go might not be enough. Stop. We'll just have to like, try it. And see. You must have at the same time you do boot out. You, the wheels would spin. That's Jordan, do you feel like you're going into flight? Now, can you reach the pedals and stuff okay? He won't be able to push, push, push the gas the whole way that you can. Use it in the block, though. You can get yeah. the brake, bud. Yeah, you got her. <laughs> Careful! Test the brakes. That's what hydraulic brakes are too. Oh, wow. Really nice. Go ahead. I can walk faster. Yeah, he's getting a feel. Just let it go. Right. You can let it go, honey. Look at that face. Look at that face. Do you like it? Do you like it, Torrance? <laughs> 
He probably feels a little stretched. Don't run into the I cement blocks. Bit, we could always put a little extension on the pedal somehow. <laughs> Are you ready, Torn? <laughs> Are you smiling big? Follow him. Torn is we'll take her up one well, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow, take her up to the field there where we ride in the four wheelers. That way there's no chance of you hitting anything. You can get comfortable with it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That'll probably be better. Yeah, we'll do it on a warmer day. Been around here. It's a good thing we have the throttle pedal turned down That's because right. you're a mad woman behind the wheel. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Now how are you gonna start it when you're in it? I was gonna torn start it for me. Torn, are you gonna start it for mama? Can I reach it for my <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I do it? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You can do it for me. Yes. Better hurry, we're down to 14% battery. trip out weren't you and the reason be it is the controls are a little too far forward he's really stretched out trying to reach although he can reach the pedals he's just reaching it by his tippy toes so we are going to try to modify this buggy a little bit to fit him better and there's kind of two options here we can do we'll look at one we either can slide the seat forward there's only four mounting plates so we probably have to make some kind of bracket that could slide this forward so we'll take a look at that or two, I have some pieces of angle iron we can maybe cut to attach to the pedal with a piece of flat stock in the back and kind of sandwich it. I got this aluminum angle iron, which if we attach the piece on like this, that would give him another inch and a half. And I think that would probably work pretty good. But we'll see. I'm going to pull this seat off and see exactly how it's... Oh, wait, Torin! The seat's adjustable. There's two bolts here. This seat will slide way far forward. How did we miss that yesterday? Yeah, because of these, these things. Yeah, Alana is exactly right. Those had those Coleman. Look at that. We can slide that puppy forward. Hey, we might not have to do anything. This might be a shorter video than I thought yeah. of working on it. We can just get right straight to ripping it. What do you think? Well, let's adjust it forward and see how it works. Seep up, so it might be holding us up. All right, Torrin, set in that now. That's as far forward as it goes. That's a lot better, isn't it? We might need to maybe put a cushion on the back so you because you're, you're leaning back pretty. Set in that again, buddy. Whoop, you're bumping it back. 
Okay, sit back. I think that's a lot better for the pedals, isn't it? It looks like we got a pivot point for the steering wheel here. Maybe we will see if we can make a little bracket here, buddy, to lower that steering wheel a little bit. Go ahead and sit in there again. If that steering wheel was down, I think it would be a little better for you, huh? I mean, that's okay right there, but I think with the steering wheel down a little bit where you could set back, it would be better. So let's see if we can move that steering wheel down. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I just cut this little piece of one inch flat stock that I can drill two holes to mount to where this was and drill another hole here down at the bottom that I can then bolt the steering wheel to we've got lots of clearance down there for our for turning we should be good i'll probably weld a little cross brace in there or something for a little bit of stability but i think that'll do wonderfully won't it torn How's it feel, Torin? Is that better where that wheel is? You're sitting clear back. You can reach the pedals a lot nicer too, can't you? Oh yeah, yeah. So I think that'll be much nicer. And we're gonna have to change the oil. Yeah, we're gonna change the oil. I was debating on putting a cross member in here, welding one in to kind of strengthen it, but that, with these two bolts in the back, that's not going anywhere. So I don't think we need to mess with this more than we have to, because as it gets bigger, we'll be taking that out and putting that back up there anyway, correct? So let's say we get the oil change in this guy real quick, mm -hmm. and then we can go for a ride. See if you can see if you like it better, huh? Yeah. Right. yeah. It's supposed to be had a couple rides on. Huh? Let's see what the oil looks like. Might still be breaking oil from the factory. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It looks a little dark for only having a couple rides on it. I'd say that looks weird. Of course, this is a small engine. They tend to burn through the oil a little more than bigger engines. It doesn't have much oil in it at all, I tell you. Get the bolt in started there, Torin? No. Well, you gotta go straight. Hey, you guys wanna do it on my thing? I'll be Yeah, I don't want Are you helping too, Kyla Roo? No. She's helping you just that thing. All right, we got Torrance Buggy all set up again, hopefully fitting him a little better. I busted out the old Dingo, which was my very first powered buggy, which you guys saw me fix up a bit last year. I'm going to follow him around in that. Alana's going to be on her Kimco four-wheeler. We're just going to do a little riding around the barn. Yeah. Might do a little drag racing later on, huh? Dingo versus Coleman versus Kimco. Sound good, Torin? Yeah. All right, let's get your helmet. Feather it. Good
we're doing a little dry grace in action here. Four wheeler versus the new Coleman. Are you ready? Set. Go. All on is taking the lead. Dingo versus mongoose. Watch your hand. On your mark. Get set. Go. He won't keep the pedal down. It's I, too think, bouncing. I think he would actually be both of us if he'd stay in the pedal. But it bounces him around and he lets off the gas. Yeah. Stay. Can be if you want to be, honey. Yeah. You're climbing in. Mom. My sweetie. You understand here. You understand in here. Are you, are you ready to go home, honey? Yeah. Okay. I'm so with you. Okay, sweetie. I'm so All right. Well, okay, sweetie. Bye. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Until, Until next time, time, keep on riding. riding.